Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop effects series. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating this speed path blur effect in Photoshop, just the way I created this poster. If you have not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the quality content I'm providing on this channel. Without having to say much, let's get started. Okay, so um, this image is actually part of the graphic bundle that i shared on the page recently so inside the premium image that's where i'm going to be getting so if you have not gotten yours you know what to do at this time right so you can see that it has so many image at your disposal that you can use for your project and these are not just ordinary images right it's not your normal images they are high quality images so for most of you always asking where do i get my source file so this is the entire um, um bundle that i have at my disposal that i use to create my designs so i've given you everything for that price right so it's like it's more like a giveaway price so you can get that with the link in the description of this video to get all these images right for your composition so i'll be using this one in particular so if you open the um premium images up you would see this image so i'm just going to drag and uh, drop inside photoshop and um, let's get started this way so the first thing you need to do is click on this padlock once to get rid of the padlock and click on remove background that's the first step you need to do right so um give photoshop time to actually um, analyze the background and the image and separate both of them so you can see separated but we still have this blue inside our hair so how do you get rid of that very simple so let's get rid of that first of all convert this to smart object when you do that um hold down control and click on the thumbnail of this right click on it you make the selection go to select hold down shift before you click on select and mask right now this is what you have Make sure your cap lock is turned off and make sure you turn on the contaminate colors so just go over the hedge like this and um, make sure it covers that area where blue is now you can see that's getting rid of the blue so you can reduce this and um, go up and um, increase the contrast to fill up that area right with the right contrast so you can see nicely done this way okay so that's the way to go you can slightly turn this up to like 64 and um, every other thing stays the same perfect and click ok like this yeah. okay so moving on what you want to do is hold down shift select this one also and um, right click convert to smart object like this so it becomes one image right a smart object just one image so what you want to do next is then go over to file and click on new then make sure you can give the name here put a name here i'm not going to do that now i'm just going to go straight to the point and uh, let me just give it a name um part below effect um i'm going to set this 1920 by 1080 resolution 300 rgb transparent and just like that so select this one now what you're going to do is ctrl c to copy and uh, come here and paste it here or you can just ctrl v to paste or you can just drag from that point to this point here like this all right great easy peasy right good so i'm just going to ctrl t and um, increase the size like this and click enter when i have my desired result so moving on i'm going to click on this and i'm just going to select solid color I want to define the background now so I'm just going to select the color from the body here I think I prefer this orange um, speed you require energy and orange um, stands for or represents energy yeah in that sense so I'm going to be using something like this so I'm going to create another layer above it like this and make sure your foreground color is set to white select your brush and um, you want to use your scroll wheel to zoom out of the composition so click one click twice click three times like this right so when you are done you want to click on ctrl t the same layer um zoom out hold down shift while you take this outside like this and hold down shift while you also take this point outside but not too far like this so um, the result of this is we've successfully made 
the middle point whitish right and you have only that orange part at the top and the bottom right just like this this is perfect okay so um moving on um i think the uh, for a start this is nice looking good we have our base for our design now we have the background we have the image so let's add effects to it so ctrl j to make a quick copy of this on the top layer make sure it's the top image go to filter and go to um part blur on that blur gallery okay so by default it loads up this control for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it up from this point here i'm dragging it from this point and i'm going to uncheck this centered blur like this and i'm going to move this edge here also like this so this is going to be the direction of my blow where this arrow is facing right so i'm going to make this first and uh, make sure your um, edit blow shape is check marked then i can increase the speed like this then to this is make sure this is checked marked edit blur shapes so it depends on how you want your blur to be most persons they can just leave it this way and um, go on with their lives and um, everything is nice but you can also change the dynamic of your uh, blur speed like this to give it a curve like effect kind of like or you can leave it on a straight path depending on what you want I'm just giving you this option because even the one I did for the thumbnail it was a straight one i used but i'm just showing you that you can actually be flexible with this also right okay so when you are done just head on and just click ok like this okay so make a duplicate copy of this layer go to filter and go to camera um not camera roll blog gallery and parts blow again so i'm doing this on another layer again right so i'm just going to repeat the same process that i did in the first one i'm going to let this come out and i'm going to uncheck this first and i'm going to change the direction okay i'm going to move this upward move the direction but i want it to be around this leg area like this so i'm just going to yeah, leave it here make sure you uncheck this centered blow like this and make sure you click on blow edit blow shapes like this right so you can choose to move in any direction you want you can choose to edit edit this also and um, move it just add some flexibility to the blow like this You can move this upward like this, tilt it upwards, and when you have your desired um, effect, it's not necessary you uh, make adjustment to the two arrows like this. You can choose to leave this the way it is, and you can choose to also add the same effect here like this. Anyone that works for you is perfect. okay so um i'm just going to leave this this way when you are done with adjustment just click ok like this and um good this is what we are left with like this okay so um what you want to do next is um select this three like this and uh, move it slightly to the right like this and what you want to do the ones that have the blur effect select it select this one and um make a duplicate copy of this one ctrl j like this so what you want to do next is with this one selected select this one hold down shift select the three of them basically and group them so what you just selected is the ones that have the blur gallery effects so go to gradient map like this and um change the blend mode to um no not screen um, create clipping masks is only affecting the image 
change the blend mode we're going to change blend mode but before then make sure you are selecting this for the gradient map under gradients under properties under gradient map select this orange right so what you want to do is change this um, you can use any of the two of them this or this so change this to linear dodge add like this yes this is what i used right so i can then reduce the opacity here like this so it's not too obvious or too sharp right so um i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this i'm going to filter i'm going to blow motion blow like this and i'm going to change the the angle here you can see that my angle has changed and i'm going to increase the distance to apply that same effect to the image itself and i'm just going to create a mask i'm going to mask out these parts i don't want the effect to be on the face so i'm just going to use my brush to mask out this, this part out like this so this is before and this is after right you can see the effect yeah so i'm just going to increase add more blur to it like this and click ok like this right so what i'm going to do is selecting this one i'm just going to come here and uh, select my text tool and i'm just going to type speed so i'm just going to be typing speed um ctrl t to make it bigger like this make it bigger yeah so you can also get this uh font in the font that i provided inside the graphic the smart graphic designer bundle that i shared so you can also get the font there also so i can just make this bigger like this and um, click enter this way okay so now click on the speed i'm going to change the color i'm going to use the color i used for the image itself you can be playful with it I use any different color I'm just going to use this for this for the purpose of this um, exercise here and um, I'm going to make a copy of it convert to smart objects like this and I'm going to go to filter go to blur and I'm going to blur gallery and path blur so I'm going to do the same thing I did for the image right so just follow my settings okay so we're done with that i'm going to make a duplicate of this gradient and i'm going to move it on top of the file that has this speed and i'm going to create a clipping mask like this so it affects only the text right just like this
okay so now i'm going to go to adjustment layer i'm selecting the curve and i'm just going to bring it down like this to add some more contrast to it and to balance off the aspects that needs um, dodge and burn i'm going to go to um, noise on the background i'm going to add some noise to it not too much use my settings and um, let's see let me double click on this okay this is make sure it is done nicely um, and you can then click ok when you are certain and it takes you out of this place okay so i'm going to click on the original image which is this one this one here and i'm going to go over to filter camera raw filter and i'm going to make it pop just a little bit right so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to come here and i'm going to select um texture and i'm going to increase the clarity like this increase the texture to the end you can leave it at 100 it's fine it's good so just to make it pop more right so at this point we are actually good to go so directly on top of this i'm going to create adjustment layer but this time it's going to be color balance so you can copy my settings for this okay so with my settings and if you followed me from the beginning You'll be able to arrive at this together also if you've liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to share like and drop your comments in the comment section with over 1000 premium fonts over 100 high quality psd flyer templates over 700 icons over 3,000 premium stock photos, 3,000 plus high resolution backgrounds, 1,000 plus 3D and PNG assets, editable PSD templates, and lots more. If you're a creative designer, UI, UX, or web designer, the Smart Designer's graphics assets will make your life much more easier.